Hi everyone, it's me. Are you ready for another week of extremely, extremely tough workouts? I maybe am, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So a couple weeks ago, I did make a video trying the hardest workouts on YouTube as recommended by you guys. And it seemed that you guys really did like that video. And I did have so many more like recommendations, suggestions from you guys for hardest workout on YouTube on that same community post. So I decided to choose five more and try them this week. There are a couple of new channels that I've never tried before that I will do in today's video. So it's gonna be a really Really exciting one and my cat's litter box just turned on so it's gonna be loud but I'm gonna keep talking anyways because it's a work day and I'm short on time and I have no time to wait for litter boxes to finish also don't mind oh my gosh it's so chaotic right now don't mind all of the boxes in the back <laughs> Where every time I try and turn my camera on and film a YouTube video, litter boxes turn on, cars drive by. It's just chaos. But yeah, there's lots of boxes behind me. They're not very nice looking, but yeah, ignore those for now. But you know the drill. I'm gonna try some of the toughest workouts on YouTube this week. I will show you all of my calorie counts for each workout and then my personal intensity and fun rating for each workout. The first workout we are going to do today is from Nourish Move Love, which is a channel that I have tried before. The trainer on this channel, her name is Lindsay, and her workouts I already know are super tough. So this one in particular is a 35 minute leg and shoulder workout at home with dumbbells. And the style of today's workout will be EMOM, which just already sounds again difficult. I have tried EMOM workouts before, but not from Lindsay's channel. If you don't know what EMOM is, it stands for every minute on the minute, I think. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it stands for and it basically means at the top of every minute you start another set So you're given a certain like sequence of movements to do a certain number of reps a certain number of exercises And you have to complete those as fast as you can if you want any sort of break in between that active set to the next one Which will start at the next minute. So yeah, very very tough. This format is always hard So I think today's gonna be a good one <laughs> pretty dang fun. <laughs> so yeah, I have tried EMOMs before and I feel like most of the ones I've done in the past have been more cardio focused EMOMs. And today's was very much more strength focused, which I actually really liked that. I enjoyed it more than cardio EMOMs personally, but maybe that's just cause overall I'm just more into strength these days. But yeah, that was <laughs> really fun. Lindsay definitely tied together sequences of movements that made the workout a lot more exciting. And I feel like in terms of intensity, it was doable, but it it was definitely like a good good workout it wasn't like this workout is going to be the death of you so it's nothing to be like scared of or intimidated of it's just at that peak perfect intensity level for me i think just to get yeah that perfect workout in but it didn't make me feel like i was like over exerting myself and pushing myself too far it was just like the perfect level which i love structure of this workout we did four rounds of emom and each round had three exercises that we repeated twice so six total exercises per round and we did four rounds very fun loved it honestly nothing to complain about this one for me so thank you for suggesting this one great start to the week again uh, you guys know me and my obsession with breakfast wraps oh. after workout by now show everyone your elf ear <laughs> do i have it right yeah, now it's on that side. <laughs> so there's this thing that happens sometimes where my ear pokes out of my hair and fiance likes to call it elf ear you look very elfy today Thank you. You know, I always wanted to be an elf. <laughs> Growing up, watching Lord of the Rings, I always aspired to be an elf. They were so cool and they were so like nimble. They could just like run and jump and like shoot arrows and stuff. <laughs> Does it show up on camera? I th yeah. <laughs> this little elf is gonna eat her breakfast wrap now. Truly really one of the best breakfasts to eat after a hard workout. Mmm. -mm. Are you done? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Into 
today's wrap. We have avocado, <laughs> eggs, hash browns, and salsa verde on this very chaotic morning. Hi friends, so I'm just like in my work day now, but I wanted to emphasize the importance of staying hydrated and drinking water, especially on active days after you've worked out. You definitely need to hydrate, <laughs> but you also need to hydrate on rest days as well and just like all the time basically to survive. So with that being said, cheers. Ooh, that's refreshing. <laughs> that actually brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is a really, really cool machine that I will show you. If you just come over here with me, this guy right here is the, hold on, let me check what the full name is. I don't want to mess this up. This is the Sim Pure Y7PW UV countertop reverse osmosis water filtration purification system. <laughs> Simply put, it's a really awesome countertop water filter. As you guys know, I am moving soon so I will find a better spot for this little baby in my new place. Basically, this is very useful for me because tap water sucks. So, little story time. I have this little cat water fountain, that blue thing down there, because cats need good water too. And I noticed that in the filter, there's like some green algae accumulation, gross stuff in there that actually I'm pretty sure one of my cats is allergic to because she always like sneezes and has a fit whenever she drinks our tap water. So yeah, I definitely do not want to be drinking unfiltered tap water. So yeah, this filter is just working great for me. Also much better than bottled water as an alternative because obviously bottled water contributes a lot to plastic pollution and all that and we don't want to support that. So this Y7P machine has a really cool filtering function. It uses a RO, the reverse osmosis filter, and also a UV light. It is certified by SGS and is in line with NSF standards. And it's also just super easy to install. It's a lot easier to set up than the like under the kitchen filtration setups, which can be a little more intensive and difficult to do. It's also a lot more economical. It's a lot cheaper than the under the counter setups. And it's also environmentally friendly. So yeah, I have been drinking water from this filter and like, I'm not even kidding. The water tastes better. <sighs> It reminds me of like glacier water, kind of that sweet, like crisp, fresh taste. So yeah, definitely check them out if you are a big water drinker, which we all should be, <laughs> let's be honest. And yeah, I'll link the product and everything down below so you can check them out. And just as a reminder for everyone, remember to drink your water. All right, you guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Today's workout is called Body Combat Invincible. <laughs> now, if that doesn't sound intense, I don't know what does. <laughs> so today's workout is from the channel Les Mills, which every time I see the name of this channel, I want to say Lay Mills because it looks French to me, but I know that even they say Les Mills, so it's not French. But I don't think I've tried this channel before, or maybe is this the channel that did the like collabs with Nina Dobrev? Because I think I did one of those. Anyways, today's workout, yeah, is called Body Combat Invincible. It is a 45 minute cardio workout. No equipment needed for this one, and this one has a very body combat that martial arts kind of inspired workout. That sounds pretty fun to me, and I'm excited to try this one, so let's do it. That was so fun, but I feel like I need to lie down for a little bit after that one. Yeah, honestly, so, so, so much dang fun. The workout was 45 minutes long, so it was longer than the usual 30 minute workouts that I do, but honestly, it didn't feel that long. I think it's because the workout was split into different sections, and all of those sections were between three to seven minutes long. So you're just kind of like looking forward to the next section every single time, and like by the time you finished one section, you were already like so far into the workout, like you finished another big chunk of it, if that makes sense. It was also really fun because all of the different sections seemed to be like different formats of combat. So there was like Muay Thai, there was Capoeira, which was really fun, kickboxing, like general kickboxing, I guess. A lot of different styles in there, so it was really fun swapping back and forth. They also rotated through their trainers for every section, so you kind of got like a new voice every section, and that kept things more exciting and fun as well. And yeah, just like my heart rate was up the entire time. I was having so much fun. I feel like these types of like martial art combat workouts are 
very similar to dance in a way because you are learning sequences of things and doing them over and over and over again and like perfecting the technique and like watching your form and like, I don't know, it's very similar to dance and as a dancer, I really, really enjoy this style of workout. So yeah, I, <laughs> I'm i pretty sure like a lot of you have suggested this exact workout to me in the past. For some reason, I haven't done it until now, but I'm really glad I did because you were right. I really loved it. <laughs> Try this one if you have a bit more time on your hands and you want to switch it up and I don't know, just do something fun. <laughs> it's burger time. I'm so excited. Burger time. <laughs> also very good post-workout meal. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, this one's a double burger. Saturday morning burger. <laughs> Good morning, my friends. Oh my gosh, the boxes just keep growing behind me, don't they? <laughs> so today we are doing a workout from Growing Ananas, who you guys know I absolutely love. I have not tried this specific workout before though. Today's workout is called 30 Minute Don't Quit Military Monday Hit Workout. <laughs> so I'm assuming very high intensity cardio again. This workout is no repeat and also requires no equipment. So very accessible for everyone to do this workout. And it's not Monday, it's actually Sunday today, but yeah, let's do Military Monday. <laughs> interesting one for me because, sorry I'm sweaty, because throughout the entire workout I feel like the intensity was pretty like average high intensity if that makes sense. Like it was high intensity but not in a way that made me feel like I was dying. But I wonder if that's also just because I'm used to growing Anna's workout style because I do so many of her videos that my body's just been accustomed to her style. Like it's not new to my body. You know what I mean? My intensity rating was difficult to choose today though because while the majority of the workout was was like normal average high intensity for me. She did throw in like a two minute full on like burpee finisher, straight two minutes of burpees at the end. And that was really tough. I definitely had to take a couple breaks within that two minute active set. So that was definitely hard. But yeah, for the rest of the workout, it was just normal high intensity to me, if that makes sense. Anyways, that was fun. I love Anna's workouts always, so no surprises there. And I'm gonna have some breakfast now. <laughs> Having some breakfast. It's not the largest breakfast, but we are going out for lunch today with the family fairly soon. Although we're late. We're not late. <laughs> it's only 9.44, we're going at 11. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna eat ramen, perfect for a cold winter's day. Mm. It's snowing outside. I probably won't vlog lunch for YouTube, but I am filming for Instagram today for real, so if you want to see my delicious ramen lunch, go follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Good morning. So I took a little rest day yesterday because those three workouts all in a row were pretty intense all together and I was starting to feel quite sore. But we are back today and we are going to try a channel that I have never tried before called A Fit. This looks to be a Korean channel because the video title is all in Korean. <laughs> but if you translate the title, this workout is called... <laughs> are you ready? It's called Lose One kg in a 35 minute hit workout <laughs> so this video loses points just already from first impression just from the title you can't just make claims and promise everyone that they will lose any certain amount of weight by doing a workout you just can't it shouldn't be a thing i know it's kind of become a clickbait trend on YouTube. But yeah, this workout loses points for that already. But one of you did suggest this as one of the most intense workouts you've ever done on YouTube. So we will try it and we will see what Jamie really thinks. <laughs> We did it! <laughs> a 
Okay, so what do we talk about this one? Ignoring the video title and the thumbnail, of course. We all know that we don't quite agree with that on this channel, but just to talk about the workout. The format of this was circuits. We did four circuits with four exercises each, and we did every circuit two times. And then at the end of the workout there, we had a little mini, I guess, like four minute ab finisher. In terms of intensity, I kind of feel at the same level as when I did that Growing in Anna's Military Monday workout the other day. So again, it was like a good average high intensity workout, but it wasn't anything that would kill me. <laughs> so I definitely got my heart rate up because yeah, today's workout was basically purely all cardio minus the little ab finisher at the end and got a decent workout in. But I don't think today's workout was anything to be like, this was the hardest workout of my life. <laughs> in terms of enjoyment, the circuit structure I think was okay. I usually don't like circuits, but when they're short enough, like four exercises each and you just repeat each of them like one more time, I don't mind that so much. It's kind of similar to what Heather Robertson does for her Metcon workouts, I feel like, and I really enjoy those. Today's exercises were all very cardio focused, all very like basic average movements that you probably already have done before if you are a regular home exerciser. <laughs> so yeah, overall, I don't think there was anything wrong with this workout other than the video title and the video thumbnail. But everything else seemed just kind of normal to me. So thank you for suggesting this workout. I hope a fit does not continue to make titles and thumbnails like that. But overall, I thought the workout was okay. So yeah, that was today's workout. Oh no, my hair's messy again. <laughs> Uh, I just get too excited to eat after I work out that I just have been forgetting to brush my hair. <laughs> I'll do it after, but I'm having breakfast wrap. It's breakfast wrap day again. Cheers. Spicy breakfast wraps. Ooh, this one hits. This yeah, one hits hard. It's spice. Mm, the spice, but with the sweet like maple breakfast sausage too together. It's like sweet and spicy. Mm, well, my greens as usual and I have some grapes here. You guys, I am scared for today's workout. So today we have a 1,000 lunge challenge. This is by Caroline Gervin, so this is on her channel. And yeah, that sounds pretty freaking intimidating. <laughs> I guess this is like a standalone challenge video. I've never seen it, or maybe I have seen it on her channel and just ignored it because it sounded so, so scary. But let's see what we do here. The video is about 35 minutes long, so that gives you an indication of how how long this workout is, so it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> Apparently, we work through 10 variations of lunges in this workout, so each variation is performed for 100 reps each. <laughs> in the video description, she says, hamstrings, glutes, and quads will be completely destroyed after so much endurance, but such a good training session. Oh my gosh, I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just casually destroying your hamstrings, glutes, and quads. But you did recommend this one to me as one of the hardest workouts on YouTube. So, <laughs> I guess we'll do it. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> Good night. <laughs> you guys, I think I'm hallucinating. I'm just standing here, or sitting here. See, I can't even talk. I'm just sitting here. I'm staring at like this edge of the counter, and it's literally wiggling. Like, it's wiggling. <laughs> Is that normal? <laughs> Oh, that's so zoomed in. Is that something like normal that happens after a workout? I've never had that. Hold on, did it stop? It's still wiggling a bit. Did it break me? I think she broke me. <laughs> I think you're wiggling a bit. I'm wiggling? Your face is wiggling. My face? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What does it mean, Sage? What does it mean? Sage, help me. I need some breakfast. 
<sighs> okay, you guys, that, I think, was that the last one on my list for this week? It better be, because I'm not moving tomorrow. <laughs> yes, okay, that was the fifth workout this week. That means that was my fifth active day this week. Tomorrow, I'm gonna take a rest day. The next day, I might very likely take a rest day. And if I don't, I'll either just do, like, yoga, maybe upper body, <laughs> but I'm definitely not moving my legs. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you did like this video. I didn't even talk about this workout, but I think you just <laughs> you get it was it fun <laughs> no it was not fun at all do i feel accomplished from doing it yes will i ever do this workout ever again <laughs> absolutely not i'm happy i did it the one time anyways yeah i'm gonna eat a lot now and i'm gonna get my day started but i'm gonna end today's video here would recommend any of these workouts even the afit one even though i didn't like the title and thumbnail i think it was overall all right still this is the last time i'm asking you guys for workout suggestions <laughs> anyways if you like this video please leave it a like and a comment if you don't know what to comment down below comment my thighs are burning and the walls are wiggling <laughs> if you like me subscribe do that bell thing and i will see you in the next one